Hello YouTube, my name is Hero and today we're going to be discussing absolute skills in Black Desert Online. Now, absolute skills are the true second awakening. Now we did get something before called fusion skills where everyone assumed that that was the second awakening, but no, fusion skills are going to be pretty important for some classes. Some classes get some great fusion skills that allow for differences in builds and things like that. But for the most part, that's not the second awakening. The second awakening is going to be called absolute skills. Absolute skills basically upgrade um, a lot of your skills to do more damage essentially and maybe have a big bigger AOE and, and better effectiveness, overall effectiveness for a lot of skills. Absolute skills will be um, completely uh, changing all of all of the classes in terms of their damage potential because they just have more abilities that they can use in different situations but they won't be changing the classes in terms of what they are viable at for the most part but it will for some classes and those two classes are ranger and dark knight see for example rangers pre-awakening has a lot of range but the damage from the range is kind of not worth using uh, in a lot of situations but after the absolute skills come out the rangers damage will increase dramatically so that to the point that her pre-awakening is actually worth using because it has a lot of range as well as a lot of damage and the same goes for dk however in reverse because dk has the range in her um awakening and her pre-awakening doesn't have range so her pre-awakening will allow her to do more melee things once the absolute skills come out and her, her melee becomes more effective because of that which adds a lot of versatility to those two classes which um uh, is pretty much needed in a lot of situations now the great thing about absolute skills is that they add another level of variety to black desert online as for example there's going to be a lot more different ways and different abilities that you'll see different warriors in and say for example a warrior may use a different a completely different ability than another warrior to try to kill someone which is very cool uh, everyone's going to have their own different ways of doing things which seems to be a path that black desert is trying to go down now while trying to make while people are still playing the same classes they can make each class different there's going to be a new feature that allows you to change the cooldown time and the aoe effect of your skills for allowing even more customization and when you throw that in with absolute skills and fusion skills there's going to be a lot of customization and different options for all of us to go through when it comes to our classes you want to be seeing the same uh, class doing the same thing at every single time there's going to be some there's going to be some warriors who attack with their pre-awakening a lot more often there's going to be some rangers who prefer to stay at a distance while some rangers prefer to to stay up close there's going to be some dark knights who prefer to stay up close there's going to be some some um sorks that are able to do some better more devastating combos at a at a, a at a quick pace and without having to use their scythe at all it's gonna it's gonna be really amazing to see all these differences coming through and it's and this really really good for a game but it also raises some red flags and that is balancing now we all know black desert is not the best game well pearl abyss are not the best developers when it comes to balancing patches and things like that i mean just look at musa and they've openly openly admitted that musa is bad and they have admitted this for a very long time i'm talking months and they still have yet to up to buff him so well, well they're doing it now but you know it, it just goes to show that balance is not this this company's strong suit to say the least so when you add more things to balance to the table it, it can get a little scary so it, it's gonna be a while for things like that to get fixed and, and stuff like that one thing you do get you guys do not have to worry about is that absolute skills actually have been completely released now in korea so it didn't take very long for all the class they gave all their classes their absolute skills and a lot of big buffs patch big buff patches at once there's like four to five most of the time so uh, a lot of people got you know they everybody got their uh, their their absolute skills fairly quickly so the same thing should happen here when they get done testing them in kr keep it keep in mind kr is basically the test server at this point everything that happens over there is getting tested and changed all the time before it comes over here that's why we haven't gotten fusion skills yet because they're still working out the kinks in that one which still baffles me why they added absolute skills i don't know but hey we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes I, I am very excited to see how all these things go so 
another thing that's going to change the game and just a bonus for this video that i really want to talk about is character swapping the character swapping is pretty much like if you guys ever played a uh, tekken tag tournament or anything like that where you just you just swap out a character to another character say if your character is getting in a combo or anything like that you swap out to another character to 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 do some kind of damage or defend yourself and that kind of thing is coming to black desert apparently there's going to be a character swap system now i'm not sure if you can use this while you're attacking or while you're being attacked hopefully not because that's just going to be too crazy but the fact that they're even considering something like this this is a completely original idea to any mmo i have ever seen if you guys ever seen an mmo that allows you to do this please let me know in the comments below but i've never seen this so it just goes to show how creative these guys can be when they just stop um thinking in just a box of oh add damage add more damage and more damage and more aoe and more aoe and bigger and bigger and bigger when they actually think about things like this this is a very cool system this is going to allow those people who like to have alts to shine and to and to actually be able to do something special with their alts uh and make them and be able to swap them in different situations and uh, i'm not sure if you're going to be allowed to do it during no wars and sieges i mean they could easily just turn that off but i couldn't see them doing that because it kind of defeats the purpose since that's the in-game pvp why add a feature that you can't even use i don't know once again we'll see i just think that it's a really cool feature a really cool uh idea that they have and we'll just have to see how it gets implemented now i titled this video the true the true second awakening because that's what everyone got hyped about the the original fusion skills was not the second awakening this absolute skills is the second awakening and i can't wait for it to come out i hope you guys are excited as i am about it if you are leave comments below if you guys have any questions about absolute skills feel free to ask in the comments below or just join my discord I'm always on there and also be feel free to stop into my streams it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace